The Technical Urbanism Project, which cost an amount of 25,000 US dollars, is a collaboration between the AMA and Bloomberg Initiative for Global Road Safety. The project would ensure the provision of pedestrian crossing, speed limit sign, road line marking, as well as rumble strips. For years now, students of the Sacred Heart School at Jamestown in Accra face lots of challenges when, when crossing the road. As a result, the the students mostly suffer from road accidents. The Metropolitan Chief Executive of Accra, Elizabeth Saki, who described the area as accident-prone, said the commissioning of this project will reduce road crashes. With support from Bloomberg Philanthropy Initiative for Global Road Safety, then the World Resources Initiative has implemented road safety inspection re recommendation on this corridor. Though a tactically urbanized program aimed at improving road infrastructure and ultimately promoting safety on our roads. As we are witnessing this morning, the following recommendations have been approved and implemented. implemented. Raise pedestrian crossing road together with rumble strips to help calm traffic. 30 kilometers per hour speed limit sign, school zone signs, road lines properly marked on the entire stretch of delineated to delineate the travels Related warning and mandatory safety signs. Wider lanes have been narrowed slightly to reduce vehicular space by the use of road line marking. Some urban works around has been seen. Speed limit analysis conducted by authorities show that motorists drove 60 km per hour, way above the accepted 30 km limit in densely populated area, hence the need to ensure safety. In addition to road markings and other prevention signs, pedestrian crossing signs would be fixed on the street to prevent needless accidents. The stool father of Jamestown, Nene Apia, said there was a need to intensify road safety education and enforcement of traffic regulation in the area. Queen Elizabeth, Jamestown, British Queen